Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Lone Wolf run, where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with only a single soldier per mission. It's time to do a dark VIP mission and instead of saving the VIP, this is going to be more an assassination mission. I am pretty confident that we can pull this one off. Getting some supplies and winning the mission, maybe not in the most... Uh, most extravagant fashion to also get some intel which of course would be nice but getting the basics down and at least winning a mission from time to time certainly helps us okay here we go well let's see if we can kill the vip and get out of here alive Got a Mutant plus X-Pack. Got a tower. One which I could kill. I am not sure. Um, yep, I think if we could kill the tower over here. That might be pretty helpful. Mainly because we could I think if we're successful, we could keep the corpse. Remember, we're here to capture the VIP if possible. Knock them out and bring them in. Nah, that, would, that wouldn't be too bad. And we do have a solid one-shot KO for the tower. Which is simply getting rid of its ground. There we go. Done deal. Shit. We have to put ourselves in a position where we're not immediately dying and we need to re-stealth. Well, it's getting better and better. Time for some shadowing. There we go. Enemies are certainly aware of my presence here. So what's the best way of eliminating the VIP and just getting the hell out of here? It's probably down here. Let's try this. Wow. Mutants, fuck off, go into a different direction. One, two, three. Okay, they would see us. Not advisable. Here, however, they wouldn't see us. Ah. Still the shield bearer. Okay, reloading and hoping that they uh, reposition. All 
All right. If we shoot from here, we're 100% revealed, but it's also 100% kill. Oh, really? Well, it's getting better and better. Let's let's really get out of here. We just picked up the chosen assassin's energy signature. She's moving on the squad's position, Commander. That's a double move. No. Oh boy. We're down to half cover. We're out of cover. Double move. Well, sucks losing our Reaper, certainly does, but at the same time we got at least uh, the supplies out of it. Oh boy. I mean, it was a pretty good mission that uh, he did. Well, we just lost our Reaper. That is very bad. Alien Alois. Oh, yeah. I would probably prefer them even over supplies. Commander, we want to set back the aliens work on the Avatar project. We should hit one of their facilities as soon as possible. Recruitment costs increased by a hundred percent. And the avatar progress uh, begins to make progress. So we could now build the Psy Lab and get up. Um, our proving ground projects will be reduced by 20%. That's also not bad. So. One of the things we can and should do is uh, to build the Psy Lab relatively soon. That'll at least help us with our soldiers. I'm not sure. I mean, if we were to, if we were to like train a Psy a Psyker, a Magus, so highest Psyker level, he would be. Uh, at least partially independent of uh, the weapon damage that we're dealing. So that's a positive. I guess the negative part about it is... Hmm. I guess the negative part about it is we would... We would probably um, require to spend a lot of Valerium and waiting time. What could a Psyker do in order to win a mission single-handedly? Clearly, mind control could work. Uh, if we could spam, um, if we could spam Soul Leech, that would work as well because it 
effectively could mind control multiple uh, units and could heal him on top of it. So that's an option. He could at least uh, use stasis in order to um, in order to crowd control at least one of uh, them. So I can see how against non-mechanical units, how a psionic uh, character against normal advent units could be beneficial because we're using their weapons against them. I'm not sure about... I'm not sure about um, the rest though. I really, am, I really am not. Let me look up um, if that's an opportunity for us to continue, and then, and then we're seeing if we if we build the Psy Lab or not. All right, welcome back. Just had month end. Um, nothing spectacular has happened. And we got to assign new Covert Ops missions. Uh, let's see what we got. Uh, we certainly need to continue reducing the Avatar project. So that's almost a given. This one here might be a good, a good starter. Giving us a new Reaper. This time with a higher level, I suppose. Plus another health. Promotion looks great. Let's start with this here. Okay. Yeah, we can do the training facility in a second. I, by the way, double checked um, the psi, uh, the psi option it costs a lot of valerium. It would mean we need to almost put all our Elerium in one bucket. Mech breakdown is a problem. This is kind of a roadblock to not to not get the the mech corpse. You know what we could do? We could check the black market. I don't think that they are selling Corpses. You can only you can only sell corpses to the black market, but in this particular case, I would even pay for the corpses. Like I would pay Intel to gain corpses. Got more Alarium if we want. Got more Illyrium. Yeah, well, we're keeping the med kits, that's for sure. Do we want to get more Illyrium? Probably yes. It's our only source where we can get it from, and it has limited stock, so might as well continue purchasing it whenever it's available. Because we can regain Intel, but we cannot gain Elerium at the moment. Strategic resource located. Wow, 109 alien alloys. Holy moly. Okay. That might just solve some of our issues.
In terms of weapons, so let's be clear. What should we what should we upgrade? Oh, that's a that's a huge upgrade. Okay, so the normal magnetic rifle certainly is a good would be a good choice as it is very versatile. The Tempest Gauntlet is a given because uh, the Templar needs to have his weapon upgraded. So that's a given. Now, besides that, the Ranger Shark Gun is cheap and we're using it a lot. So might as well use that as well. In terms of other weapons, we're not using the sniper, we're not using the cannon. We're not using the skirmisher a lot. Where is the reaper weapon? Sharpshooter, grenadier, sharpshooter. Could use the rifle. And if he fights the lost, might as well give him an upgraded an upgraded weapon. We still don't have the trooper corpses, so that's not gonna work. Um, I'm missing the Reaper weapon because uh, that one would be helpful for us as well. Very helpful. Let's continue gathering resources over here. Supplies. We still have a lot of supplies on top of the ones that we currently have, but I don't mind leaving the supplies here on the world map for now. It's another 130, so... I mean, we're going to go and take some more intel. But I'm wondering, have we already upgraded the weapon? No. Probably we can't as long as uh, we're not having a single Reaper within our core squad. Yeah, so as soon as the Reaper comes online, we might want to upgrade it as well. Keep in mind also all of our magnetic weapons have plus one damage, so they are essentially like plasma weapons. Which comes in very handy since we probably can't upgrade further at the moment unless we're able to kill something and gain corpses. I suppose if that works, we might as well keep it up, Commander. Okay, we got a Reaper. We got um, a lot of missions here. Hmm. Let me see. So What did I want to do? Uh, oh yeah, engineering first. Weapons. This one here is the Reaper upgrade. That will be well worth it. Now we can also modify the weapon. Maybe we can get a repeater in it. Yeah, next up, let me think, what else? Okay, I think we gotta 
manage our soldiers now and also pick the uh, the next crew for the uh, mission. Let's do some training center first when we got some leveling up to do. Um, Scythe is the new Reaper. We might want to take a look at him first. Look at that. We got the Reaper as a captain rank. So lost the Reaper at squaddy rank and got him back at captain rank. Um, yeah, I think that's acceptable, I guess. So we want remote start. That's the most important ability because it will deal the most um, damage. Shrapnel for further explosion damage. And I think on top of it, let's see. I mean, Sting to get uh, and Silent Killer. Probably both of them. That's 25 additional points. So with Silent Killer, we can at least kill some of the enemies. Shredder looks incredibly sexy. Combined with Needle, we would go through a lot of armor. Dead Eye. Probably not bad. Um, base damage shot of... Uh, 50% more. I think we could use that in order to kill them and still stay in concealment. It's probably worth taking it. And target definition certainly helps as well, but we only have uh, points for one of them. Might as well take Dead Eye, because Dead Eye together with Silent Killer will, will allow us to stay in concealment as long as possible. And we need kills now, guys. We need a lot of kills. So maybe that's our way out of it with a uh, dead eye not sure yet okay let's level up hogbite so we got um, deep focus here and probably reflect Ooh, blade storm that's good ah uh, i was hoping for reaper hmm. well it is what it is at least he's pretty tanky so we were to purchase uh, Deflect and increase our focus level to 3. Ah, Bladestorm is probably better. Bladestorm deals more damage. Together with Fortress, we would be immune to Fire Poison and Explosive damage. If we then on top of it can get to 3 focus, that makes a pretty substantial difference. So. If we can level him up further with a, with promotions, getting to that colonel level, this here is a good base, good enough base to to pull it off, I think. Roby has death from above and chain shot. Chain shot is pretty good, but too expensive. Death from above could be good for him, but I think Implacable is more important for now because it will allow us to reposition once we have scored a kill. What else? Run and gun? Oh, that's pretty good, but uh, he does not have enough points. Well, he has a lot of points, but unfortunately, not the levels. Getting blast padding is never wrong because it'll allow him to to survive. And yeah, this here is not gonna uh, not gonna move the needle a lot. Okay, so hogbite certainly good. I like what I'm seeing here with our reaper. That's good as well. Can we? Retrain soldiers' abilities? Nope. Oh, we could increase the bond to level 2. Um, when, de uh, when deployed on a covert action, the duration is reduced by one day. I think that's really good. So, let's see.
Can someone else do that? I guess the answer is yes, both of them could do it. Um, we don't want anyone captured, so we're spending money for it. And they can they can go on to the covert ops mission to reduce the avatar progress. That's good, which means our training center could, uh, could let them improve the bond which will allow them to get onto covert ops actions together faster. Okay, fair enough. Well, we're at the point where we get a few breakthroughs now because we can't research anything else. Snipers are not exactly what we were looking for. I was hoping for different weapons, but at least we have something to research. And that's a protect the device mission for a potential scientist. Well, uh, you know, that's not too bad. I mean, we we might want to use our Reaper and see if we can clean this one up. Very difficult means a lot of enemies, but if we play our cards right, we might be able to kill them. Um, with the exception of, of course, if the Chosen would show up, we would need to get out of there. I don't think that we're going to win, don't get me wrong. But it's certainly, if if we were to finish the mission and kill everything, we could at least keep the corpses. And that would make a huge difference. So we got to find like the right mission where, where we can kill enough enemies to keep the corpses. Anyways, um, that's it for today. I think we're stopping the episode here. Thank you so much for watching and have a great evening. As always, if you like the content, leave a comment down below um, and or a like. Uh, thank you and goodbye.